Holy, this thing came in fast. I think it is a silver tip. It's a silver tip fox. Look at this. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Classic. This is the Hunter DD33 and today we're going to be going after a mounter red fox. But since we see a kangaroo out here, we're going to take a shot on him. Looks like we made a 124.2 meter spine shot on him. Pretty nice kangaroo, 75.13. Now the reason we found this kangaroo is because we spawned over here at this lodge. And that's because I don't like to spawn close to where I'm going to be hunting. So basically we spawned over here. And what I want to do is come out to the middle of this tracks and head over here to this mound. Once we get to this mound, we should be able to call stuff from all the way over here and all the way over here and possibly over here. So today we're going to be using the 17 HMR HV ammo. And I was watching Instagram the other day and I saw somebody take a fox out at 272 meters out with the 17 HMR HV ammo. And I was really impressed and I want to get out there and try and see what the 17 HMR can do on some fox. And hopefully we can find some ball hangers. By the way, that was th.latin. So that was a pretty awesome video if you want to go see that on Instagram and anyways let's go try and find some mountain red fox all right so we got a fox right there he's about 130 140 meters out but he's in some thick brush we're gonna try and sneak up a little bit closer get into an opening where we can get a nice shot on him all right now we're in an opening here but I don't see the fox let's see where did he go he's still behind all those trees He's right there, he's right there. He's coming in really close. I did put out a call, but I didn't think he was gonna come in that fast. <laughs> oh my god. We definitely should have had the other scope on this thing because that fox was point blank range. I mean, that fox was six meters away, maybe less. How close was it? Four meters away with a 12 by 50 scope. We barely got time to put up on it and take the shot. he was gonna bolt I think it's a female actually so uh, anyways we must have made a decent shot let's pick it up we got it in the intestine at 4.7 meters but with the 17 HMR HV ammo it took it down no problem at all all right we just got a call from another female fox and is that a fox right there no it's a rock so we just got a call from another female fox right out here we're gonna kind of creep forward a little bit and see if we can't locate her out in this opening. At least I hope there's an opening out here. It looks like there might be. The one thing you don't want to do is call when you're in this thick woods because then it'll come running right in and you won't even see it and it'll possibly spook away. Well, I don't see her anywhere, so we're gonna put out a call and see if she responds to it. Well, it must have spooked, so we're going to move forward and see if we can't locate her. Holy! Where was she? Why couldn't I see her? This is what gave me a heart attack because it was right on top of us. Where is she? Oh, my. There's a track right there. Where is she? Where, where did she come from? I don't know. Still don't see her. That's her track right here. She was headed this way, so maybe she came in the backside. I bet she snuck in behind us. Alright, so we just found our fox that spooked us from before. There it is right there. And let's see how far out he is. Actually, it's a female. She is 116, so the 17 HMR should shoot pretty much exactly where we want to hit if we can get an opening here and not be in this thick grass. That should work.
perfect shot. Drop that fox at about 115. All right, here's our fox down. Let's take a look at him. It looks like we made a nice double lung shot at about 115. Let's pick him up. That was a double lung shot at 112.9 meters out, and she scores 15.329, so medium-sized fox. All right, so we had a little bit of an issue. We were huffing and puffing pretty bad, so we had to stop back at the lodge and get a drink. All right, so we got a fox right here. It's a female, and she's about 80 meters away. She's right behind this rock. We're going to try and sneak up to this brush here on top of this rock. Oh, she just called. She just called right in front of us. Now, we also just got like a cross-colored fox right down here, but the recording cut out for some reason. So, anyways, I'll just show a picture of that fox. It was a decent size, like 15 scoring cross fox, but this female fox is right here, and she's going to be about 30 meters away from us, so we're actually going to be able to put it right on them because this 17 with this scope pretty much shoots dead on up to 100, and then at 100, it shoots a little bit high, but between 0 and 50, it shoots dead on, and I still can't see the fox, but... I was going to say we made a perfect shot and it kept walking. I was like, okay, this fox better seriously go down. Um, just made a nice shot though. Oh, there's a couple of rabbits out there. Are they going to go into a hole? Yeah, they're all going into a hole. All right, tell you what, let's pick up this fox quick. Then we'll go back over and see if we can't get a couple of rabbits while we're here. It's not every day where you find a nice spot where you can get a couple of rabbits like this. So I think it'll work out pretty good. Let's pick up this fox. I'm not even sure how big it actually was. I don't remember even spotting the thing. It was a female, so it might be a decent sized one. Uh, 7.4, she scored 16.519. We made a left lung liver shot at 16.5 meters out. Rabbit. Oh, rabbit. Got him. <laughs> he was trying to get back into his hole. I don't know how we missed the first shot. I think we pulled a little bit left on him. You don't really get too much time to aim on these guys. Rabbit. Oh, nice headshot. Oh. Well, at least we finally got two. That was uh, interesting, to say the least. I think I shot like seven, eight times and got two rabbits, but at least we got two of them. I'll take it. Actually, let's load back up our 17 inch MR HV ammo for some big fox. Made a nice shot on this one, though. Headshot on this one at 78.7 meters. And uh, it was a female, maybe not. All right, well, I guess we won't find out what that score. Let's pick this one up. Oh, this one looked decent. 2.1 kg female, 68.5 meters out. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see what this one scores either. But I hear another rabbit right underneath us. <laughs> Look at them all. There they go. Actually, wait, that one's stuck. We could, we might be able to get that one. I don't know if it's stuck because of the trophy shot mode or what. Yeah, I think they're stuck. All right, well, let's take a picture of them because I don't know how big this one's actually gonna be. But weight-wise, it's a pretty decent rabbit. All right, let's go with that. And I don't know what it's gonna score. All right, I just bought the fox. You could probably not even see him, but he's right in the middle of the binoculars, right there. You can just barely see a white patch and his little red face right there. Oh, there he is, he's walking. All right, let's see if we can't get on him. The 17, he should be uh, about 100 meters out. Put it right on his chest. That should have been a solid hit. Surprised he didn't drop. But I'm hoping maybe we got a liver shot out of that. Oh, look at this. He's down right here. Nice. You can see where we hit him right in the neck. That fox only went like 20 meters. So apparently, oh, look at that. Right in the shoulder blade. So we hit him in the neck. We hit him a little bit high. You can see at 100 meters, it shoots just a touch high. We we're holding for here and we hit here. It scored 13.3. All right, so we just spotted a rabbit hopping through the forest right here. And we're going to see if we can't get on him in a second. I don't know if we got him. Couldn't really see him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. He 
He was about to bust us. Oh, I was shaking like crazy. I was kind of hoping we could find that uh, rabbit. Oh, yes, we got the rabbit. Nice. <laughs> I couldn't even see the rabbit. It was right behind this brush, and I had a few, and I could kind of tell right where his outline was. And, well, apparently we got him. The shot was 111.8 meters out. It, uh, let's see what it scored. It scores 1,584. So pretty cool. Not bad considering we couldn't even see that rabbit. And we came sneaking over here and found a nice fox. All right, let's pick him up. That wasn't that great of a shot actually, but it did bring him down. Oh no, that was a perfect shot. Decent sized fox, that's our biggest one yet. 21.9 and we got a shoulder blade spine and double lung shot. So when I said it wasn't that good of a shot, that's, I mean, you really can't get any better than that. Spine, double lung and shoulder blade. Yeah, that fox wasn't going anywhere. Pretty cool. All right, let's take a trophy shot at him because he's the biggest one yet so far. All right, that'll work. We'll go with that. So we just got a call from a female fox and I can see her right out there, but we don't have any place to really lay down. Uh, we might be able to get on this little rock here and possibly take a shot. I don't know, it's gonna be tough. I'm thinking she's about 140, 150 out there right now. We put out a call already. I don't want to call anymore because then she'll come right to us. I'm surprised she's actually not coming right to us. She's 83 meters out right now. So we might just wait until she slows down. I don't really feel like taking a trotting shot. Okay, she's going to come right to us. I had a feeling she might come. Oh, look at, look at, a big fox right in the back. All right, I don't know where this fox came from, but that's a big fox. He should be about 100 meters out. Oh, is he going to stop right behind that rock? Don't do it. Come on, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Perfect shot, dropped him. I didn't want this fox to get too close because then it would have spooked. Uh, we probably could take a shot, but I don't feel like tracking it. The fox we just got, I think, might be a big mounter fox. I don't know. It looked pretty big. It made that fox look tiny. Unless that fox actually was tiny, which it could have been. Anyways, let's go over and go take a look at how big this fox is going to be. Where did he come from? He came from down there by the water. I mean, look, there's nothing over there but water. And then this big mountain ridge here. and He must have been with her. I don't know. There's tracks here. I want to see. No, that's the track from that other female fox. But yeah, this looks like a nice size fox. I'm going to say he's going to be 24 plus maybe. I don't know. Hopefully. Let's see what he's going to score. 9.2 and he scores 20.2. So pretty decent sized fox. Another nice fox. We ended up getting a double lung shot on him. Oh, so we just got a fox out here. And it looks pretty dark. It's definitely a cross colored fox or maybe it's a silver tip. I'm not 100% sure. But it looks pretty awesome. I can see it out there right now. It's a long ways out. Let's go prone. I just put out a call to try and get his attention. But I don't know if we should try and get him to come closer or go for a broadside shot on him. I can't see him right now, actually. I believe it's a female. Where is she? That's another fox. It's definitely a different fox. It's a male. Oh, it's right there, it's right there, it's right there. Holy, this thing came in fast. I think it is a silver tip. It's a silver tip fox. Look at this. Dropped it. That's a rare fox. I've only ever gotten one of those fox. I don't remember if it's called a silver tip or what it is. It might be just like a melanistic at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just got a melanistic fox. So apparently this one's going to get mounted because we just got a rare fox with the 17 HMR. I had a feeling it looked pretty dark. It, it looked a lot darker than a cross-colored fox, but just take a look at how white the teeth actually look on this thing. 
Wow, what a cool looking fox and an awesome place for a picture. Let's pick him up. We made a shoulder blade, neck, right lung, liver, stomach hit, and intestine and a score 10.6. It was a female, but I believe it's a melanistic female, so it's definitely a rare fox. And it is for sure a mounter. All right, pretty awesome picture. I'm really happy with that. Look at how red the eyes are on, on that fox. What a cool looking fox. And yeah, we're definitely gonna get this fox mounted. And I can't wait to put it in our trophy lodge and go take a look at this melanistic fox. Like I said, I haven't gotten one, a rare fox in so long that I can't remember what they're called. They used to be called silver tips, but I think they changed them now. All right guys, well, I really wanna go take a look at this rare fox. So we're gonna head over to the trophy lodge now and go take a look at our rare melanistic fox. All right guys, here we are back at the Trophy Lodge and here is our Mounter Rare Fox. It actually is a silver tip. I went back and checked on the stats and it said it was a silver tip. Also here in the top right corner, you can see it is a silver tip. I thought for some reason they changed it to a melanistic, but apparently they're still silver tip fox. There is no more silver tip brown bear from what I uh, understand, but there's definitely silver tip fox as we can see here. We took him out with the 17 HMR and we dropped him with an awesome shot, double lung shot and Wow, that was just an awesome fox. I can't believe we got a rare fox. I, I haven't seen a rare fox since probably close to two years ago, actually. So that's why I didn't even know what they were called anymore. But anyways, we ended up getting a couple pretty nice fox, and we got what we came for, which is a modern fox. And this is what these lodges are for, something exactly like this, a rare, really cool animal that you're probably not going to see very often, um, if ever. And the fact that we have really cool lodges to put them in, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, Call of the Wild still doesn't have that yet, but anyways. Well, I think that's going to be a pretty way to end this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.